Hi everyone, Randy Swati here, hoping to get you started with modifying a Landfire Biophysical Settings model in a way that better represents current conditions. In this, the fourth of five videos in the Modifier Model series, we will work through our trusty Sage Step model as an example, learning how to add a new state. So yes, Sasquatch is almost like a replacement fire, but not quite. The understory response from wallowing is different than from replacement fire. We need to add in a new class. As usual, we'll copy, then paste our last scenario into the project. Then we will rename, right clicking, and I will delete the word copy and then put in add new state. Nice and descriptive. I will right click this new scenario, then add in some descriptive information. Okay, I've added in some descriptive information. Check my run control and then go to transition pathways. Here we will right click anywhere in the white space, then add a new state class. The cover type will be early two, and the structural stage will be open. Or whatever you think. I'm going to zoom in for fun. Then I'm going to move this box over because I can. I'll open the new box, then add in some information here. So this state table at the top is missing a couple fields. I'm going to right click on the header of this states table, adding in the two class. We'll parameterize that quickly, selecting mid one open to say that when there is succession the pixels go from early to open to mid one open then we need to throw in some age parameters so I'll right click on the header add in the age min type in a zero then I will add in the age max the same way and I'll add in an 18. This is saying that, again, if a cell makes it to year 18 without some sort of disturbance, it will transition to the mid one open class. For the purposes of our work today, I will not add any transitions to the bottom probabilistic transitions table. I'll close out of this because now we need to change the wind weather stress transition in this late one close to reflect this new class. This is the wind weather stress transition we need to change. Currently, it has a two class of early one all. We need to select that cell, hit the drop down, and select early two open. Okay, great. Now we have that transition, we see it here. We're almost ready. There's one major thing we have to do though. We have to select the initial conditions and add in that new state class, then change the relative amounts. Okay, we'll add in this model code and then add in that new state class, early to open. So I'll throw in the proper value of 0.2. I'm gonna select the cell, then type in 0 0.2, enter, 0 0.2, enter, 0 0.2, enter, 0 0.2, enter. 0 .2, enter. Okay, now we have our initial conditions set up properly. We have no replacement fire, because we set that before, adding a multiplier of zero. We have everything set to now run and check what happens. We've highlighted the scenario. I'll hit run, save, and wait. Okay, we have a successful run. I will close out of this run monitor pane and check our results. Okay, we're almost set, though we need to add in that new early to open class, apply so that we can see the results. Okay, this new class is showing up in our results. Good job. Thank you for participating in this video 4 of 5, adding a new state. We'll look forward to seeing you soon in video 5 where we will then delete a state.